Hi, all. Thanks for having me today. Um, so it's a it's interesting to talk about Internet of Things uh, right after cybersecurity, um, because I think many of you will have questions around it. Uh, but um, just to give you a context of uh, who we are and uh, what we do, um, I work with currently I work with Connected Homes and I lead product development for Home Energy uh, Insights products. And um, to be to give a little bit of background about myself, um, previously having worked with uh, hedge funds and advising startups, I decided to actually uh, trans make the transformation into uh, technology sector. And my passion is really building sustainable products that actually solve real problems using technology. And that's the reason um, I'm with Connected Homes today. Uh, I've joined Connected Homes uh, in April, around April 2013, when Connected Homes started uh, up as a new business unit within British Gas. And uh, I'm here to today to talk about really what British Gas, uh, uh, public ex-public sector companies, doing a little bit different in the uh, uh, United Kingdom. So, who are we exactly? You know, I think we are actually in addition to uh, uh, innovative companies in UK today. Uh, we are a B2C company. And we focus on connected homes and Internet of Things uh, market. We operate as an independent technology startup within British Gas. And one of the main reasons why we do that is we, the, the, the business models as well as the markets that we deal with in connected homes are very different from our core businesses, which, which is British Gas. As you all know, British Gas will have you know, established markets, uh, but whereas connected homes uh, markets are still nascent and uncertain and also high risk, but at the same time high growth. Um, and uh, we've launched, a, uh, the company was launched uh, in uh, mid of October, actually early, the Hive as a brand was launched in October 2013, but Connected Home started in uh, early 2013. And what, what we actually, uh, when we started company, the Connected Homes, we, tr we focused on two verticals for products. One is home energy insights, and the second one is around um, automating and controls. Why did we actually look at these products initially? As we all know, I mean, we spoke about innovation and disruption in uh, aviation industry, but it's the same with energy industry sector as well, right? It's, it's been there for a long time, and innovation and disruption will, will, is necessary because we would have non-traditional firms competing and being our competitors in future. No one can stop Google from actually being a competitor in future as well in the energy sector. Uh, having said that, uh, we all know that traditionally there has been extremely low engagement with customers. All the customers do uh, engage with uh, energy companies is when they receive their bills, either because they have a bill shock they don't understand why they are actually built so heavily. Well, at the same time, they really don't understand the different line items in the bill. How many of us really go through the bill and understand it? We just give up and we just think that it's, it's not necessary. Just pay whatever we, we owe the energy companies. So really, we are starting to uh, build products. And going back to digitization is, uh, is address the key things that customers lack today. The environment is challenging. The prices are rising and soaring every day. And uh, there's lack of transparency in the industry today. But at the same time, people feel like there's loss of control. They don't have really any control over what, what's being used and spent. Uh, but how do we, but at the same time, they see that the rest of the industry is changing and their expectations are changing because of the innovation happening in, in, the, in the rest of the world and across other sectors, especially, especially UK with over 70% of penetration with smartphones, but at the same time, uh, a high penetration of broadband. Uh, customers do expect multi or almost omni channel experience of the products and services they receive from. Uh, companies, and they don't see that from utility companies today. And having these challenges, but at the same time, we also saw that Internet of Things is a high growth market. I, I, I know it's, it's actually probably you've heard from different speakers around what Internet of Things are and everything, and specifically we are dealing with energy and connected homes. How can we make a customer's life easy while they're at home and around home?
And this is a huge market because as, also, as we know that with all the predictions and forecasts, by 2020, we will have trillions of devices connected to the internet in spite of all the risks that we have, we, you know, we discuss around internet of things. And at the same time, we know that the internet of things also will help us leverage and build new business models to create new economic values through these new business models and also huge efficiencies in the way we consumers interact with our ecosystem, but also how businesses work. Uh, but for us, the biggest thing where I'm more interested and con 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 concentrated my last two and a half years of effort is really around how can we change the way customers engage with energy and build them the pro digitized products and also use the whole Internet of Things space to be able to provide and disrupt this market. And uh, with the smart meters, advent of smart meters in the UK market, this is changing the industry. And uh, British Gas is at, the, is at the forefront of it. We already have over a half a million customers with smart meters installed. Uh, but at the same time, we also think that uh, home energy insights products can actually make customers knowledgeable, informative, give them the visibility and transparency, and all that leads to awareness of other products and controls that they can use to make their life easy. And that's where we think it becomes a window to the whole connected homes ecosystem. Um, but significantly for us, these two vertical of products actually brings um, a different di dimension to energy. Now we are actually creating products that people want and can engage with, but at the same time, uh, we are creating a uh, providing a value to the customers. Instead of just doing things for the sake of it, we are building something that is beneficial to customer. And for us, it's also a natural extension to the energy vertical, um, adding benefits to British Gas as a company. Um, so let, let's talk about something very interesting. What have we done so far? Um, I know, again, this is just a buzzword. This is lean methodology, customer development, and all these are very buzzwords, but actually it's core to the success of um, connected homes. We are set up as a very independent entity. It's the reason because we need to set up uh, processes and culture, which is very different from a normal corporate world. Um, and we were, because we are separately, uh, we have separate offices from British Gas, we were able to incorporate lean methodologies to actually build products that customers want and also be able to uh, be fast and iterative uh, with our incremental product development. And this is very crucial for our business model because we, we want to actually continuously ship products to the market rather than take that uh, year or two years time uh, before the customer needs and expectations really change. Um, and we've been successful in doing that and one of the reasons um, I, I started working at Connected Home is to build and lead these uh, agile uh, product development teams. Um, and we have started something that's very core to our business. As I just spoke about the two verticals that, um, uh, that defines the home energy insights and uh, uh, remote heating controls, active, active controls, is thermostats and smart meters. They are very core to our business today and you know, as an energy supplier. Um, and what have we done? Um, everyone talks about big data. And it's, uh, and again, the previous presentation uh, we spoke about, like everyone says that they do something about it. But it's all actually very difficult, building those capabilities to be able to understand and provide that information back to customers, not just the businesses, uh, how the business, business process works. It's actually very difficult, and it's, it, it's not easy to be able to do that. Initially, with the smart mirror rollout, we built... Um, our energy, home energy efficiency product uh, with a third party called AlertMe. AlertMe is, uh, is a platform provider for Internet of Things. But as a strategic move, what we did is we brought all the capabilities in-house, um, both, I mean, pretty much everything across the value chain, i.e. research, prototyping, rapid prototyping, customer experience, but also the whole data science piece. Uh, curious, I mean, again, this is where I think the crux of our business is really, is turning the ideas into value. So what, what does this exactly mean? Uh, what have we done so far is 
we have data coming from smart meters or other different sources. And looking at this big data, what is exactly we can what what exactly can we provide uh, to customers? If we have an idea, some simple thing like we we use modeling and. Uh, 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 and other data science uh, machine learning techniques to be able to, for, for instance, do prediction of consumption. But also we can, we have built models that can um, categorize customers, uh, their usage across different appliances, um, and also have, provide them a benchmark of how they use against the similar homes or other people with a similar lifestyle. Again, I know I think this information from the amount of information that you get from customers is where the data science comes into picture. It's the research. It's understanding what information you can provide to customers or the business later. And the data engineering is where you actually take this information and build scalable software applications. We use the Cassandra Spark uh, stacks to be able to do that. And, um, and then you provide that value back to customers. That gives them the idea of what, how they've been using the uh, energy and, uh, and also how they can be more efficient. Not that it's not always about saving money, but it's also providing them that comfort that they know what they're doing. Um, this is just a sample of the data that we look at on a regular basis. So it's getting data from smart meters and different sources. And that's part of what we've been able to achieve in the last uh, uh, couple of quarters, really. Um, this is just a pattern that we've recognized. I know that for, for a few of the geeks here, uh, this is just a pattern of three different kinds of refrigerators. Uh, this is our data modeling that, that is able to recognize the patterns and being able to tell people actually at the more contextual, contextually is how they're using and what can they do better um, or giving them a peace of mind. Um, but really, you know, if, 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 if someone is a fan of Star Trek, you can think of these representations in a different way as well. Uh, but really, for us, data science is real fun. Um, but what we have understood through our customers and regularly um, ch uh, checking with customers in an iterative fashion is giving them that transparency. They know now how much they spend and what, where they're spending their money. But at the same time, our models are also giving them how much they are, uh, how the, let them benchmark with similar homes and they can define what their similar homes are. But the key thing is also understanding how, how they spend it. Uh, and where they spend it, and when they spend it. And this actually opens a different level of engagement. And this is just the beginning for us, just giving them that understanding, visibility, and transparency. But also our data, uh, data science and our data platform that we've built also will help us look at the trends and patterns of the uh, particular customer's usage and give them those more efficiency tips at a pr very personalized level. Um, and that has been one of the key advantages of actually for us to be able to build that uh, uh, data science capabilities. Uh, but the next, I think we, we took this to the next level, is, is really how can we provide more information in the real time. This is where we integrated uh, Internet of Things and hardware with the software. And it's a journey that, uh, uh, exceptional customer journey that we've integrated with our, uh, our uh, British gas engineers. So with this, um, an app, customers can monitor their real-time uh, usage of energy usage remotely from anywhere. Our uh, trusted engineers install uh, the hardware device uh, during the smart meter installation process and, um, and, and provide the seamless installation process. After that, customers just have a native app that they can use. But the, uh, but the key essential here is doing the real-time use cases, i.e. telling customers if there is something very abnormal happening. It's a peace of mind again. It's at a level of uh, safety and security, which you can, we can provide it at a very, uh, in, instead of installing very um, expensive gadgets. Um, and this is just one leap forward for us in the um, uh, whole Internet of Things. But the second thing that I think, which is uh, it, also very important for us in our portfolio of products is is Hive. So Hive is a sub-brand that we've created again uh, in uh, October 2013, is to be able to provide this new, new way of uh, controlling heating 
uh, for the modern customers. We say modern customer, but it could be you know any customer who actually is expecting to be able to make their life, uh, companies to make their life easy, to be able to monitor their, uh, control their um, heating better and heating and hot water better. So what it, it, it's really what we've done here is not just providing a thermostat, um, you know, which is smart, but at the same time providing an again going back its exceptional customer experience. The, uh, the product is available to uh, any customer; they don't have to be British Gas customer, uh, unlike the previous real-time product uh, I mentioned a few minutes ago, um, and they can choose high from any channel. Uh, be it retail or British Gas or our Hive website, a sub-branded website. Um, and again, our uh, engineers are very, uh, they have a huge trust with our customers in, in, in UK because they have the, uh, they, they, are tr they are trusted because they know everything around home. But at the same time, they have the customer's uh, benefits at heart as well. So we have the field force integrated and they install the um, product at customers' home, which is ex extremely seamless. And we also have built the capabilities to support uh, within connected homes, end-to-end uh, -end journey, uh, and we have built like Apple does, where um, uh, Hive helpers who make, make sure that every customer query is answered uh, in a very uh, efficient manner. So it's really at the end-to-end -end journey. It's an experience that we have provided through the Hive brand, which is the Hive Active Heating Control. Um, and it, is, it has got a strong retail uh, presence today, and it's got uh, an, uh, also an award for uh, the best, one of the best packages in the retail today. Uh, we sell it to a number of uh, retail outlets in the uh, uh, in UK. But it's, it's, it's an innovation in a way that our one, one vertical of our products, while it gives them gives customers back the control, the other, other vertical, which is high active heating control, gives them the active control to be able to do something about it. Um, so it's fantastic. It seems like a seamless journey that we have had. But this has huge challenges as well, because we are a startup within a large corporation. And we have two different business models and the business uh, types. So the biggest challenges that we have had, of which probably I will note a few, uh, really are around low level of awareness of these pro the new products in uh, Internet of Things. Because customers are still wary about it. We, are, we also know that there are quite unknown risks around it. And we are, we are dealing with new business models, heavy, high risks, uh, high growth. But at the same time, our core business is, uh, is, is known business model. And we, we know clearly what customers want. And in our, in our space, customers' needs and requirements are changing on a very fast pace as well. Um, and we are, uh, we are a tech company in a way, because we use tech as an enabler to provide these uh, disruptive products into the market. Uh, but nevertheless, it's challenging because you have to integrate, uh, leverage the capabilities of your core business as well to, ab to be able to roll out these disruptive products into the market. Um, but I think it, as Internet of Things uh, has a lot of challenges in the market today, uh, it still is in a very nascent stage. As we said, the customer, as I said earlier, the customer awareness and understanding is very low because also there are security concerns. Uh, people are not really um, open to it at this point. As spoke about Samsung TVs, able to listen to all your conversations. How secure is that? How, how you know, do you really want to have some uh, hubs in your home listening to all your conversations and tracking what you're doing on a daily basis? Uh, but, but at the same time, I think it depends on what exactly, what value you're bringing to customers and how you're bringing that value to the customers will, will change the way customers adapt to these products. Uh, but the key thing, I think, what, what's ch ch biggest challenge in Internet of Things today is interoperability and also lack of standards. But, but I think as and how the market grows, and we have a lot more players, consolidation will happen. But today, we are not there yet. So it has its own challenges that we need to deal with. Um, so what do we want to really do in future um, as connected homes within high brand? And what are we up to? Is really first first thing is I think what we have done so far is we've built these platforms 
um, leveraging the the value of the data through our data science capabilities um, and at scale, provide this, these products at scale. We have over um, 60,000 customers, 600,000 uh, 600, customers now actually using uh, our Energy Insights products and also over 150K uh, Hive active heating, uh, heating users within UK. Uh, this just speaks about the scale at which we have achieved it, uh, our, our products in the last couple of years. Um, and as you know, when you build a product that really resonates with customers and makes their life easy, people do tend to like it because we are providing something that actually makes their life uh, comfortable and convenient. And so uh, we are not surprised that uh, customers love the products, but at the same time, we always are open to listening to what customers uh, want to say and how they want us to improve the products. And that's where I think our philosophy and uh, the culture we have set up in the company helps us be more iterative and fast in uh, rolling out the new f features and enhancements. So uh, we are joining the dots now. As we see, the, we have two verticals, and we have these energy inside products that, as I said before, gives them the understanding and control back, but then helps them raise awareness of what else can, is it possible for them to make their life easy. Hive active heating, one is, uh, is one control. If we tell them through our energy insights products that they're actually using a lot of energy th for heating, they could actually change their heatings to uh, certain settings to be able to save around 100 pounds a month, or I'm sorry, a year. Um, but also give them that convenience to be able to control when, they, when we tell them that their heating is on when there's no one at home. Uh, remotely is using a hive active heating. They will see the benefit of it. You can't just provide hive active heating right by itself uh, unless people see the benefit of actually using such products. And I think that's where uh, our next uh, goal is, is identifying these simple products that can be very s simple, but at the same time add value to customers, and they think that they've actually made their life very easy. Once they start using it, they might actually wonder how they used to live without those. Uh, but we, so that's what our future is, to identify these use cases and build some products which are actually in line with the innovation and disruption, and also in line with our British Gas core principles. So I think to end this, what we think, what personally, what I think is, what the products that we built at Connected Homes is actually transform the way we interact with customers and the, and how customers interact with British Gas and a utility company. Uh, we have actually provided products that help them provide the uh, transparency and control, but also able to actively control. That means they actually, in a way, trust us to do good for them and adding value to them, rather than actually thinking about just charging them more for tariffs. So uh, the innovation that we are cre creating also helps British Gas in integrating it with their other propositions that they would present to provide to customers in future. Um, and also, the capabilities that we have built in connected homes around uh, mainly data science it will help us leverage the efficiencies of the company, not just provide the information back to customers, but also use that to uh, make our businesses much more efficient. Because I think that's where the whole uh, benefit of Internet of Things in future is, is, is divided between the efficiencies, huge efficiencies that we can drive. And um, and I think we have uh, achieved a, a lot, at, mainly at scale today. Uh, but creating the sub brand within connected with, within connected homes with Hive will help us actually look at different products which are within the Internet of Things sector and market, and uh, have a head start for it. Thanks for listening.